Good evening learners, I'm teacher Rose, you are CRE teacher. Welcome to our today's lesson. With me, I have my Bible. And before we start our lesson, let us keep safe. I have my sanitizer here, let me keep safe. Thank you. Today, we are going to learn about coping with conflicts. Very good. Now, I know some of you understand the meaning of the word conflict, but I'm going to tell you. A conflict is a serious disagreement between people. You have brothers and sisters at home. There is a time you fight. There is a time you disagree over a certain thing. That is what we call conflict. And as you know, conflict causes problems. When, where there is conflict, there is no peace. I'll write for you. We have said a conflict is a serious disagreement between people. I have also said that a conf where there is a conflict, there is no peace. Very good. Now, with your parent there, have you ever had a conflict? Have you ever had a conflict? Ask your parent. I know you got the correct answer. Sorry, I'll correct something here. Very good. I know I've given your parent the correct answer. Now, what brings this conflict? What brings this thing we call conflict? Conflict is brought through various things. And these things, we call them vices. So we have vices that cause conflict. Vices that cause conflict. Very good. Maybe you can tell your parent one of the vice that causes conflict between you and your brother, between you and your sister, or even between you and your parents. I'm waiting. Very good. Now, before we continue, a vice is an evil behavior. A vice is an evil behavior. When you are there at home or when you are at school, which this evil behavior do you take that causes conflict between you and your teachers, between you and your fellow learners, or between you and your parent sitting next to you? I know you know better. But I'm going to mention for you some of the vices that cause conflict. Number one, anger. Number two, fear. Another vice that causes conflict, dislike. Another one we have, jealousy. These are some of the vices that cause conflict between you and people around you. Now, let us look in the Bible. Do you, I hope you got your Bible with you. Very good. We are going to read in the Old Testament. And we are going to read the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 18. 1 Samuel, 
chapter 18, verse 6 to 9. Open your Bible. I have said it's found in the, new, in the Old Testament. I'm already having mine. I read as you listen. Kindly parent, make sure he has opened 1 Samuel chapter 18. And we are reading from verse 6, 6 to 9. I will read fast and louder as you read yours there at home. Saul becomes jealous of David. I'll also explain too. We are talking of Saul and David. And we know Saul was the first king of Israel. Now, where is David coming from? Let us read and see where the conflict between Saul and David is coming from. As David was returning after killing Goliath, and as the soldiers were coming back home, women from every town in Israel came out to meet King Saul. Meaning, King Saul was a king in Israel. They were singing jealous songs, dancing and playing and, and singing. In their celebration, the women sang. Saul had killed thousands, but David tens of thousands. Saul killed thousands, but David tens of thousands. Meaning, David was superior than Saul. I'll continue. For David, they claim tens of thousands, but only thousands for me. They will be making him king next. Meaning that Saul was jealousy that David was going to be made a king of Israelites. And so he was jealousy and suspicious of David from day one. The next day, an evil spirit from God suddenly took control of Saul. We have had an evil spirit from God. Meaning, God can also send evil spirits to you. David was playing the harp, and he did every day. And Saul was holding a spear. Saul was having a spear. Saul was having a spear. Let's continue reading. I'll pin him to the wall, Saul said to himself, and he threw the spear at him twice, but David dodged each time. He threw two times, but remember, David dodged both two times. Yeah, just as I was telling you, we have David and Saul. David was successful and, De and he, he, he conquered the Goliath. Now, David was one of the sons of Jesse of Bethlehem. And a small boy, David, killed Goliath, who was Saul with a sling and a stone. There are two things that David used to kill Goliath. It was one, a sling and a stone. Only the two things helped David to be successful. So we can see from the story, Saul was jealous of David. And being so famous and having conquered the, the battle the other time, it made the Saul to be jealousy of him. Now, we can see now the vice of jealousy being portrayed from the story. Let us try to be at peace with one another. If your brother or sister wrongs you, or if your mother happened to, to, to have said something that did not make you happy, create peace. Peace is good. And during our next lesson, we are going to learn on how to cope with these vices of conflict. Thank you so much. I miss you. Have a nice holiday. I'm Teacher Rose. See you. Bye.